G'day everybody, it's Justin here with All Things Outdoors. Today I'm on another adventure, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. Let's check it out. So we've had some absolutely cracking weather lately, which is kind of uh, a bit peculiar for this time of year. We're in late May now, and uh, basically winter's like about a week away, but we're uh, getting these temperatures up in the, the low 20s. So I thought I'd take a uh, final opportunity, hopefully it's not a final opportunity, but I'll take an opportunity to get out on the water before it gets really cold. So today I've brought the, the little tinny down to the junction of the Ovens and Murray Rivers. And the good thing about this junction is it's it forms a little bit of a delta. So there's a there's a whole maze of, of creeks and, and a branches that you can explore through there. And apparently the fishing is supposed to be pretty good around here, but this time of year it sort of tends to slow down a bit. So We'll have a bit of a fish, have a bit of an explore through the delta and potentially look for some future camping sites. The fish finder is saying that the water temperature is 12 degrees Celsius, which uh, isn't overly helpful for fishing. But the good thing is, while I was motoring out here, I saw a lot of surface activity, so fish feeding from the surface. I know it's probably a little bit late to be um, using surface lures now, but I'll, I think I'll just use a bit of a shallow diver just to start with and um, see how that goes around a bit of this structure here that's fallen into the to the river. I'll give that a go for a while, and if we don't get any success on the um, subsurface or you know shallow diving lures, I'll uh, change up to something else. Well, I didn't have much of a much luck with the uh, the subsurface lures, so uh, probably going to move on and find some more structure, and um, probably change to either a spinnerbait or um, or a stump jumper or something like that.
Sorry, skip. shallow in spots so I had to lift the motor up a bit so I can bounce over the logs and uh, just sort of take it a bit easier. Well I've never been through this part before so I don't know what, what's ahead of me. But uh, this will probably be the order of the day I guess. Um, sneaking across uh, from the ovens into the Murray through the, the delta down here. But that's alright we've got all day so we can just uh, take our time and just motor nice and slowly through this area. But what a beautiful morning. Gotta love this uh, this weather at this time of year. It's absolutely magic. That cheeky kookaburra up there just swooped in and tried to take the cheese off my fishing line as I was baiting it up. It was literally swinging there off the back of my chair, right next to me. That cheeky bugger swooped in and tried to take it. Oh well, hopefully it's as attractive to the fish as it is to the kookaburras. He's just coming back. He's coming back for another go. I think we better make a peace offering. We'll give him a little bit of mozzarella and then he might be my friend. See that? He's having another go at it. Here you go, you have that one. Good boy. Good boy. Here, you take it away. Good boy. Good boy. Let's get crazy here and put a piece on my hand and see if he takes it out of my hand. Come on. Yeah, cookie, cookie. We'll call, we'll call him Cookie. Yeah, Cookie. Come on, Cookie. You want this one too? <laughs> oh, Cookie's mate just turned up. We'll call him Barry. Barry. 
Barry. Yeah, Barry, that'll do. Kookaburra, Cookie Barry. Hey, Barry. Oh, oh, there's a fight. There's a fight. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Hello, here's two more. Got no idea what I'm going to call those guys. Yeah, I better get this line in the water and then I might uh, socialise with the locals a little bit more. So that bridge behind me there is actually a, a private bridge because the delta that uh, joins the Ovens and Murray rivers creates this massive big island in the middle of it. I think it's called Wallace Island. Yeah, Wallace Island. And uh, they, they need access across the island, obviously, because there's, uh, there's a lot of um, paddocks over there, so I'm, I'm assuming they're privately owned. So they need access over the island, so that's why there's a bridge there. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll actually be going under that bridge once we finish smoke out here and um, heading up towards the Murray River again. Being very cheeky, Cookie. Hopefully, he doesn't take it <laughs> take it off the line as I cast into the water. So my whole plan of this little loop trip 
hinges on this little channel over here and whether I can get through it. So this little channel connects the, the delta back into the uh, back into the Murray River and it's only a couple of hundred metres long and if I can get through there I'll be back onto the Murray and I can just hoon all the way back to the boat ramp from there but if not I'm going to have to motor all the way back there. I'm like three quarters of the way through the entire loop right here. So if I can't do this, I've got to motor all the way back there. And there's a lot of slow going because it gets quite shallow. I saw as little as 40 centimetres in depth back there. So I've had to put the shallow drive on the motor to get through it. So we'll just take it easy. At the moment, I'm in oh, two metres of water, but I haven't gone into the channel yet. So fingers crossed I can get through there and there isn't too much um, timber down in the channel. I can get back into the Murray River. channel was uh, no big deal whatsoever. I think the the shallowest it got was about one and a half metres. Um, I'm not quite in the Murray yet. I'm actually on um, the New South Wales side of the border, but the the central course of the Murray's just up this, this way a little bit. So I've just got to slowly motor up there until I'm in the, the proper channel, but I'm actually in New South Wales now. And just on that point too, I've actually bought a three day New South Wales fishing license because I'm in both Victorian and New South Wales waters so to cover off both uh, both states so yeah just cross the border no biggie all right I'll update you guys when I've uh, gotten out of uh, the channel bit and into the Murray proper
this little island here I've spotted on Google Maps uh, because it has some interesting um, geographical features so this little opening through here where the, the, the river's actually going now I'm in New South Wales then you go Victoria and then back to New South Wales again all in about uh, 30 or 40 meters so this little island here is actually a point on the uh, the on the border and the original river course went that way went up around it and then came back back in where those reeds are over there and kept going that way so this goes to show you how the river course changes over time and can really screw borders up so the reason I, I, I like this island is I was thinking about uh, trying to camp here but the banks look very inaccessible I might just uh, might just motor up here and have a quick look and uh, see what it's like and then potentially uh, we could uh, come back and uh, camp on this island at some stage Right, so I found a way onto the island, but she's pretty overgrown, probably a snake haven as well. I can't see any clear spots to, to set up camp. Anyway, we'll go for a bit of an explore, hopefully the boat will be there when I get back. There's a tiny little bit of a clear spot here, but just be painful to get around I think. Plus it uh, seems that it'd be a bit of a mosquito haven, especially in the warmer months. And snakes of course too, so I don't think it's probably a viable option. Oh well, that's why we come out on these little trips to explore and uh, find new places to go and do stuff. So, pretty much done, but it um, wasn't an overly successful fishing trip, but geez, I had a lot of fun. It's beautiful just to go and explore the the, uh, the junction here and just explore all those little uh, channels and, and creeks and anna branches where the ovens and the Murray join up. And I've had a great day. It's beautiful and warm out today. I'd say it's more than the forecast. I think it was forecast to be 20, but I'd say it's like 22, 23 now. It's just beautiful out here. So yeah, we'll have to call it quits there and uh, head on home and pick up the boy from school. As always, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and watch out for more adventures from all things outdoors. Thanks guys, see you later.